Hello my friend, how are you? How are you doing? I hope you and your family are doing really well. And your month of June has been good and throughout the whole past months, I hope everything has been just good and very well. So today I wanted to shop my stash of makeup items I found quite a while ago with uh, purchasing these from Marshalls and they're the they're the newest collection from BH Cosmetics. I used the Too Faced Pillow Balm, uh, Coral, Coral Organics Luminizer, and a Dollar Tree Bronzer. Now, while I was applying the makeup, I pretty much chatted about why I don't wear foundation or concealer or even sometimes mascara. So, if you're interested in watching all of that and how I got this look, <laughs> uh, keep on watching. And with all that said, I'll start the video right now. Okay, so I already primed my eyelids and this one is a Milani eyeshadow primer. And then for my inner corner is a Second Love glitter primer. So I have two palettes from BH Cosmetics that I found in Marshalls and they were $3.99 each. This one is a face palette and it's the Cabo Face Quad. And then I picked up the Miami Shadow Quad. I'll just go ahead and focus on the Miami palette and the first shade I want to take is this one as my transitional and I'm going to be using the Sigma E40. So I wanted to come on here to talk about why I don't why I don't wear foundation or concealer and it's so uh, I feel like it's odd because I love makeup but the only thing I don't wear is foundation or concealer and I think the reasoning being is out of laziness and honestly I don't really have problems with my skin um, except you know a little bit of sunspots and acne <laughs> but other than that my face is pretty much always clear and I don't really have much problems with hiding what's my natural face as it is <laughs> um but i do have to admit i did buy uh this one from l'oreal paris and it's the skin paradise water infused tinted moisturizer so this one i have heard that Amy from Amy Loves Makeup. She really loves this. And I felt like it was perfect because this one has SPF 19. It has aloe vera and witch, witch hazel. And it says, Awaken fresh glow with luminous coverage 24 hours hydration. And it was only $3.99. So, <clears throat> I thought that was like a perfect um 
steal for something that I might wear. Um, but other than that, to like regular foundations that have heavy coverage, um, I just don't really look into those. But I do have pictures from from a few years ago of me wearing foundation. I think you can even look back on my YouTube videos when I wore it. And I'm going to say it was like around 20... 2015? 2015 or 2016, around those time periods. And... Yeah, I think, uh... As I have grown grown older from from 2016, I feel like I really don't need foundation to cover up my face. <laughs> I feel like the shade is not doing anything for a crease transitional shade. Okay, so I'll go with the cobble palette and I'll take the shade. I'll go ahead and try it out. So yeah, when I first started working, I was into buying a lot of makeup. And foundation was definitely on my list. And... I remember always being really excited to look around. Okay, so I remember going into Walmart, buying most of the drugstore makeup I could find. And then one of those things was the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. And I could recall that I went up to an employer who was working in the makeup aisle and I told her I didn't know what shade of foundation to pick and she was so kind enough to tell me in Spanish how my face didn't need any foundation and she said that it was very clear and there's no need for it except to put on SPF and so I'm thinking this was like around 2016, like when I was wearing foundation, and I kind of took her advice from then on. Of course, I did buy the foundation, but I remember after that moment, I didn't really look into buying foundation as much. So, I'll go ahead and take my Morphe 456 brush. And I feel like this shade would be very light to um, put in the crease area. So, I am going to be taking this one. Okay, so fast forward to late 2017. That is when I first started dating my boyfriend, whom I'm still with right now. And, you know, I remember recalling that I would wear a bit of foundation and even mascara too when I first started seeing him and then I kind of stopped because even then like it would make me feel confident for me to not wear it <laughs> um, of course you know because you know men don't really 
take much notes of if you're wearing makeup or not. But, um, I think for me it makes a difference when I'm taking it off from the day. And I just feel like it's much easier to, to just simply wash your face without those extra steps, making sure your face is really clean because sometimes the foundation doesn't really wash right away. You need to wash like, you need to wash your face like two times and things like that. And so, yeah, but everything is all about me being lazy and not wanting to deal with that. Now, of course, like if it's a really special, special occasion, I think I would reconsider it to wear the mascara, wear the concealer, wear the foundation. But, um, I know definitely I'm not into the heavy base of those things. So, like, I wouldn't want to wear a heavy foundation. Absolutely not. <laughs> and then, if I could say another thing related to the concealer situation. I remember I would wear that as an eye primer and I remember doing that for such a long time. What would happen is I would have a concealer, right? And so I would set it on my eyes and then after that set it with powder, like eyeshadow primer, <laughs> like eyeshadow powder. And so, I did that for a long time, and I felt like the technique of doing it for the inner corner, it looked very cakey, like right here. And so, not only that, but I felt like in the summer, it looked like it was texturized with how the eyeshadow was looking like throughout the day and I felt like it didn't last as long and so not until the point where I actually had an eye infection <laughs> from the concealer I was using because I think it ended up being expired and once I stopped wearing that concealer. I never had an eye, eye infection again. So that's another thing, like it expires quite quickly. So these matte shades have a lot of fallout. That's a lot. And I felt like this matte shade did not come out as vibrant on the eye as I liked. I did build it up for a while and it almost looks like I put on this one right here. But I didn't use this one. So now I'll go ahead and use the shimmer right here. And I'm going to use my Zoeva 232 brush. Okay, so now for inner corner, I'll take this highlighter shade and I'll go ahead and use my Dollar Tree uh, inner corner. Yeah, I feel like the other thing I don't really wear is mascara just because it's a drag to wash it off and I feel like when you do wash it off, 
It leaves like a huge residue underneath your eye. So it almost looks like you're wearing eyeliner, but you're not. <laughs> and yeah, like it's, I think maybe if there was an easier way to wash it in one step, that would be great, but no. It, it would take a long, quite a while to make sure everything is off from your face. So this is what it came out like for the end. I look super pretty. I think it reminds me of like the 80s. It looks really nice. I actually ended up liking the shimmer from this palette. A little bit powdery but it did come out not as dark on the lid which is good so I've been using bronzer um, and I actually really like this one this is from the Dollar Tree it's called B color and I think it's supposed to be like a dupe for the Physicians Formula Bronzer. It's like a glowy golden shimmer bronzer. And it does look like a donut. <laughs> and it does smell, it does have a sweet smell. So I'll take the e.l.f. Multi-Use Face Brush. So the last thing is a highlighter and I've been loving this one. This is from Core Organics and it's the Rose Quartz Luminizer. And what I do is I take my Spectrum BOA brush and I dip it And for my lips, throughout the video, I've been wearing the Too Faced Pillow Balm and Mango Kiss. And I'm almost done with this. I'm really happy to almost get this out of, out of my collection. I really don't like it because it's a bit sticky for Pillow Balm. But the scent does smell good. So this is my finished look. So thank you so much for watching, if you did, may God bless always, take good care, and I hope to see you in my next video. I love you, and I am always praying for you. Okay, bye.